Dear friends, family, and listeners, today's dish, or delicacy, I should say, is a Lebanese dessert called namura. And if you add coconut flakes, it's called basbusa. I don't know why this happens, but it does. So um, we're going to start with semolina, uh, which is three cups, or what we call simit in, in Lebanon, and then half a cup of sugar. And then we're going to put one teaspoon each, baking powder and baking soda. And then we're going to make the basbusa namura, where we are the coconuts. And we're going to add... That's, we have to mix this first. Okay, so we have the dry ingredients. Let's mix them together. Okay. Then we're going to add, interestingly enough, one cup of yogurt. And we're going to add half a cup of sunflower oil. Um, the recipe says melted butter, so please feel free to use melted butter, unsalted butter. Um, we're going to mix everything. And then we're going to add Let's see here. One tablespoon um, orange blossom, or you can do rose water. I think with this it goes better. Um, so let's mix this again. This is it, folks. This is all it will take. I've reduced the number of sugar when I made it. Um, according to the recipe, it was too sugary. So I have half the sugar, and let's see how that turns out. And if you want, so it says put in one cup of sugar, I put half cup of sugar. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to allow this to rest for 15, 20 minutes. So let's put this aside for a minute. Now the syrup. Again, I've half the sugar. And um, this is one cup instead of the two cups that it asks for. It's brown sugar. I don't use white sugar, so it kind of gets hard sometimes. Okay, we have one cup of brown sugar. We're going to add one cup of water to it. And then we're going to add two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice and then we're going to reduce it so let's see how long it needs to reduce and then we'll be coming back well the 15 20 minutes waiting period is done um syrup is done so we're going to put it all together this is the fun part right we have this dish We are going to pour this in. We're going to even it out. We're going to cut it into small squares because this is very rich. You can always have two or three, um, but we're not going to do too much of it. So in the syrup, we're going to add two teaspoons of, again, orange blossom water. I don't do it while I'm boiling the syrup because I don't want the lovely taste to disappear. Okay. So first let's cut it. We'll try to do, I think we'll do it this way. Okay, so put 
unsalted almonds. There. Okay. We're going to put this in the oven, uh, 350 degrees or 275. This is what the finished product looks like. Um, I baked it about 20 minutes that I said in the um, show more ingredients and how to prepare them, uh, but it needed a bit more, so I left it in there five minutes more, and it should have this beautiful color, as you get to see. And now, now we're doing this from the far. So what happens is that um, the namura has to be hot right out of the oven and the syrup has to be cold. So let's pour it in. And then we'll see what happens. This has to absorb it. And then once this is absorbed, it has to go in the oven for a little bit more while the oven is hot. We'll cover it and let it sit in the oven for about five, 10 minutes, and then we'll be back. Dear watchers, here we are. Isn't this lovely? This is a lovely thing. And then if you think that this has shrunk in size from the previous one, you are not imagining things. <laughs> At the end of the last, uh, when I was just pouring the syrup and a bigger version, I made a big mupu. I'm not going to tell you what it was because we don't tell our secrets all the time. And so I had to make a smaller version because I couldn't eat all that stuff or I couldn't give enough to others. And so we have it and then we'll see what it looks like on a plate.